Hey guys, Sudhir from Here Technologies. Welcome to a brand new video. In this video, we are going to explore reverse geocoding REST API using Postman. So let's get started. Firstly, let's check out the documentation. To do that, open developer.here.com. Select geocoding and search from the uh, products menu. Click on see documentation. Geocoding and search is offered in multiple platforms like JavaScript, REST API, and SDKs for both Android and iOS. For now, let's focus on REST. Select the latest version. As you can see, reverse geocoding is part of the geocoding and search page. Click on this. Now we are in the reverse geocoding page. As you can see, an endpoint, which is a git method and a sample response. You can find all the details about reverse geocoding in this documentation. Now in the next section, we are going to see an example on how to use this endpoint using Postman. After opening the Postman, go ahead and create a new request. Now, go back to the documentation and copy the endpoint. Come back to the Postman and put in your API here. Let's just clean up a little bit to make it one-liner. That looks much better. Now, all here APIs can be authenticated using two methods. One, using API key. The other one, using OAuth2. For now, let's focus on API key. If you want to find out more information about OAuth2, you can check out the documentation at developer.here.com. Now, let's provide an additional parameter called API key. You can get your API key from your developer account. Go back to the documentation and click on the login button. Login with your existing here account or create yourself an account from this register link. I already have an account and I'm going to log in with it. Note that in order to create an account, you don't need a credit card. Now, once you log in, you land in projects page. Click on the project and scroll to the rest section and copy the API key. If you don't have an API key already generated, you can generate one by clicking on the create API key button here. It's going to take a couple of seconds and then your API key should be ready. Now that we have copied, let's go back to the Postman and put in the API key here. As you can see, we have all the required parameters. Let's just send this request. Sure enough, we have got the status 200 OK and the response. As part of the response, we can see the title and the result type, an address object, position, and other details. Now, let's try to play around with this API. For example, if I wanted to get the response in Chinese, I can just change the language parameter to Chinese, like and then let's just send this request and see what happens. There you go. Status 200 OK and the response which is in Chinese. You can check out the language options from the here documentation and you can find all the supported languages. 
Well, that brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching.